More news now. The death toll continues to rise here in Kentucky. Powerful tornadoes ripping through several counties over the weekend. Now beginning to hear some survival stories from that twister. Erica Ritchie joining us live with more. Well, Patrick, the way these residents describe the chain of events makes you realize how fortunate they are to be alive to tell it. Not everyone in Southwest Kentucky was so lucky. The death toll hard to nail down because so many are still missing. The governor, though, estimates it currently stands around 50, but does expect it to exceed 100. One look at the damage, and it's easy to see why that number is expected to climb. Buildings, houses, neighborhoods in Southwest Kentucky reduced to complete rubble. The carnage extending across multiple counties there, the hardest hit a candle factory. You see it right there on your screen. That's in Mayfield, Kentucky. Officials say eight people were killed inside. Another eight were missing when the tornado obliterated the building that they were working in. Now, for those who lived through the EF3 tornado and survived, it was a harrowing experience. I was where this all this rubble is, is a dining room in a living room. I was in the dining room because I had been watching the uh, radar and the power went out and I walked into the uh, dining room and then I heard the roar. So I jumped into the little hallway where that doorway is and uh, it hit, you could hear the, the roar, my ears popped and debris started coming through the doorway and I just dropped down on my knees and covered my head and it was gone in 30 seconds. And coming up next half hour, we'll talk about why this tornado is likely to go down in the history books, and we'll talk about the devastation it left in neighboring states. This didn't just hit Kentucky. I'll see you right back here 30 minutes from now. For now, live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News. Other news now, residents in six Midwestern states grieving losses while picking up the pieces this morning after tornadoes decimated parts of the area over the weekend. Erica Ritchie has the very latest on what we know this morning. Well, Patrick, good morning. We know that this tornado could go down in the record books as being the longest tornado in U.S. history. From the time it touched down until the time it picked back up, the governor of Kentucky says it traveled more than 220 miles, much of that tearing through his state, claiming what he calls scores of lives. I am uh, praying uh, that maybe uh, original estimates of those we've lost were wrong. If so, it's going to be it's going to be pretty wonderful, but but we, we it's way too early. And because it is so early on in this uh, cleanup effort here and recovery effort, and because of the extent of the devastation here, those exact numbers, those death toll numbers, really hard to nail down. He does estimate somewhere right now between 50 and 80, but Kentucky Governor Andy Beshear has repeatedly said he expects that death toll to rise above 100. He said 3.30 on Saturday afternoon was the last time a rescue had been made in Mayfield, which was the hardest hit part of Kentucky. That's the town the candle factory was in that got a obliterated. More than 100 workers were inside. Eight of them were killed. Eight more still missing. And that's just in Kentucky in Mayfield. There at least 14 are dead in neighboring states as well, including six who were killed when the roof of an Amazon facility in Illinois collapsed from the tornado. Live in studio, Erica Ritchie, 12 News.